in the Badlands. Badlands. And just like that, we're back on the road again. What? What? Logan, would you like to tell the people where we're going? We are on our way to the supernatural hub of the country. Well, we're going on a big road trip, and our first stop is Sioux Falls, South Dakota. But welcome back to Living Large with El Crew. This is the adventure vlog. I'm El Crew. This is Logan. What's up? What's up? Um, thanks for being here. I'm excited to share these adventures with you. Let's go. So because I promise authenticity on this channel, I've got to be honest with you and first of all, let you know that this is old footage. We had a very different grand plan at the beginning of this trip. And second, that while this was being filmed and while we were on this trip, my mom was sick in the hospital. It was really hard for me to stay present and vlog and capture the fun while waiting on calls from my dad with updates and all those sorts of things. I still think that it's worth sharing the reality of the duality of life, how social media is definitely a highlight reel and I don't want to come in here and pretend like this was all sunshine and rainbows and fun when there was some, some intense stuff going on behind the scenes, but I always want this to be a place of raw, gritty truth. So let me tell you about our night. We got here, we got here to just about the Badlands and I think, first of all, I think we're supposed to be camping. All the way up there where all those people camped. But we got here to set up our tent and we found there's a big asshole in it. So then we ended up sleeping in the car. Which was just funny and silly because we moved all of our stuff and we just slept in this back seat right here. So day one. <laughs> so we're going to adjust for today. But before we do that and get new supplies and stuff, we're going to hike for a bit. So welcome to the chaos. How are you feeling this morning? Uh, resourceful. Very resourceful. It's a, it's a good word. I'm sleepy. How's your wrap? Is there a fish spinach? There it is. So we've seen like 950 signs for this wall drug, which is literally the drugstore of Wall, South Dakota. <laughs> but we feel like we just have to check it out because it's literally been marketed for the last 100 miles with these like crazy signs. So we're like, it must be there. Wall drug backyard. What? <laughs> Wall drug bus entrance. Like what? Wall drug store. Bus, bus unloading. Oh Whoa. It basically is a city. This is a giant place. Buffalo Bill. Why don't you come out tonight? I was saying. Here, let me take a picture for you. Okay. Have you no, have you? No, but my dad has. Okay, so on a lot of the billboards, it was saying five cent coffee and wall drug, and I was like, there's no way because that's like 1920s. But then we got here. Look at this. You literally pay in the box. Should I just put a. Yeah, one of them. You can give I him a tip. Give a 10. Yeah, give him a tip. For both of us. Yeah, 10. 10 for both of us. That's crazy. <laughs> Cheers. You are joking, brother. Whoa, dude. Whoa. Oh my gosh, and there's wild cattle in there too. We made it. This is amazing. This is blowing my expectation out of the world. This is crazy. 
it's you huge. can see it in the distance. Wow. You see the different layers too? Yeah, the That's different That's all colors. history. That's wild. We're just writing our tiny piece of Yeah, we're just eternity. a part of it. It's a what little is it, pebble. Right? I feel like it's hard for the camera to pick it up in some ways. We are beginning our hike into the Badlands National Park. We're doing Castle Trail. Um, it's only a few miles, a little few mile loop, like six or so. But it's already crazy because like what, like what? It's like clay? Like what is that? You know, this is not something I see every day. It's kind of mind blowing. It's a little playground. Yes. <laughs> I know, right? So we kind of what? What did you gasp at? <laughs> we uh, we're switching up the trails and we got a little. We're doing a loop and now we're. This is dope. This is where we are. Oh yeah. There's another hawk circling. Do hawks eat snakes or just? There's a bunch of hawks. Oh, that's why it's difficult because you go down there. Whoa! That is beautiful. I see why it's difficult. We could totally go down there. We could do a little scrambling. We just slid down this thing. On our booties. Like basically on our booty cheeks. <laughs> Careful, don't fall down. Mm. We're, We're in, in the, the Badlands! Bad <laughs> cool. Okay, go on. I think we kind of underestimated the fact that it's literally 91 degrees out. I didn't even realize we were out hiking for like three hours at three least, hours. if not more, because we left our campsite at like 10 and we went to the, the wall drug, which the wall drug is basically the Bucky's of the North. Yeah, wow. That's what I was thinking. It's basically like, I don't even, I mean, I, they kind of gas, really I don't even know if they've gas, but they, it's like a, basically like gas station stuff, but just like humongous. I'm sweating. Want some cheese? What do you think about the Badlands? Badlands was dope. Really cool spot. Super dope. All the bison were sleeping. Except for so one. Well, except we did see one. Except for one. Because there wasn't really any shade, and they found a nice home with some shade. Under the shade. A little um, bit. But yeah, it was cool. It's there's like mountains, but not mountains. Reverse mountains. Canyons. Erosion we think, peaks. We think. Canyons. Erosion peaks. Mm -hmm. It was a really cool experience. And then we got to climb up these treacherous rocks, which was awesome. Up and down them. <laughs> up and down them. We booty scooted. We, we booty scooted down them. Would recommend the Badlands. Look Absolutely. at this. Look at this is our view. We're watching these people. Oh, we're about to eat our lunch. We're watching these people climb up this. This, this uh, mountain, I guess, yeah. I can't tell what it's... Okay, we literally are leaving the park at the literal exit. We're like, we didn't see any bison today. And then all of a sudden, there's 900 million bison. <laughs> like, literally 900 million. Like, Doesn't make any sense. Wait, they're... Yeah. They look, like, half naked. Like... They're all naked. All their little... <laughs> this is insane. Bro, watch out for this car. Picture or video. Oh my gosh, my gosh. Okay, so apparently these things can run like 30 miles an hour. There's so many of them. Booty cheeks. <laughs> like they're all over. They're all just grazing you. This is crazy. Oh, and the prairie dog! And the prairie dog! Standing right there. We're seeing, we're seeing the whole ecosystem. We're seeing the whole ecosystem right now. <laughs> oh, my oh my gosh, I can't even believe this. In 25 seconds ago, we saw all the big horn sheep. <laughs> Literally, at the exit. At the exit. And the prairie dogs are all, there's a button over there too. And all the little birdies. This is so cool. <laughs> Woo! One thousand miles. That's right. Yeah. 
1,000 miles on this trip. And this is me singing to avoid that copyright strike. But just know the beat was bumping in our car that night. Yeah. So I'm making some tuna spinach tortillas in the back of the car because we're getting gas and ice. We need to replace the ice. Update it. Um, basically, life, you know, things never really go as planned. We're going to have to cut our trip short because my mother is not doing too hot. And so we're adjusting. We're adjusting. Ah, oh no, the wind. Oh no, the wind. So it's like 730. I feel like I didn't even do a good job of explaining how insane this was. Like, nothing was going as planned. I got a $300 speeding ticket the night before this. We literally had to, like, call five different people to get the guy at the reception desk to let us into the room. Like, it was a whole fiasco. Literally, we got to this hotel that we had booked in advance. And they said, like, the front door said closed. <laughs> and there was no lights on. Like, it was a disaster. But... It was okay in the end. We figured it out. I got scared though because I was like, this has to be a joke. Of all the other things going on yesterday, and this is like, I was just like, what? We saw a freaking moose. I did see a freaking moose. Actually, we saw a lot of wildlife. We've seen a lot of wildlife. Oh, it's just cute. Right. Yeah. <laughs> We are stocked up. Can you hold that for a second? I don't know where to put all this stuff. Absolutely. You think those are the Tetons? I know those are the Tetons. How do you know? Because. So our big stop today is going to be Hot Springs State Park in Wyoming. And basically, we're trying to find some hot springs to hang out in for a bit. Um, so we're in this park. Where are you guys from? Chicago. All the way from Chicago. All the way yeah. From Chicago. For this. Out of the big city. Yeah, right. <laughs> Where are you from? Right here. Right here. Really? I love it. Once Do you I come here frequently? Yeah, every day. Yeah? Once I discovered it 16 years ago, I moved here. Well, really? Well, plus, I wanted to get out of Colorado. Too many people. Are you, you like Colorado? Colorado originally? Yeah. It just, but you being from Chicago, I don't know what I'm talking about saying too many people. Right, right. right. <laughs> We're in Colorado. Were you in Denver or? Uh, no, I grew up east, almost Nebraska. Okay. Then went to college along the foothills. Migrated to western Colorado, lived there for 35 years. Oh, wow. And even it's overrun with people. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I mean, I know everyone moves to Colorado. Yep. <laughs> so there's always places like this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So we're very curious. We're going to ask some people because it doesn't seem like, like this is obviously a, a pool that's like man-made, but the, the hot spring is natural. So we're just like so intrigued of like how it gets here. What are the benefits of sulfur on your body? Like there's a lot of different things that we just don't know. So education on the way. Basically what we learned is that natural hot springs have uh, multiple health benefits, including blood circulation and oxygen flow. The heat also helps reduce stress and promote restful sleep. And the sulfur in it, I guess, just has a lot of great benefits for your skin, hair, and nails. <laughs> so as I was saying, life really never goes as planned. And so it's our final night on the road trip, but um, I don't know. We have a lot of things we're going to come back and do, which is, if anything, exciting. Um, so we're about to eat some pizza, hang out, do this fun little activity, and just uh, and just chill. we got a long driving day tomorrow, so this will be it. Like I said, this wasn't exactly the trip that we planned, nor was this the vlog that I was anticipating, but... 
I got to be real and I got to be authentic here. I can't just say it. I have to practice what I preach. And so thank you so much for being a part of this, for coming along this weird little fun little chaotic journey and if you're not subscribed yet make sure to do so because there's a lot more coming up with the coming year keep living large even when life gets scary and it feels really hard to and i will catch you on the flip